Is and this is gonna this is gonna be some couples counseling. So I'm gonna put on the Came specs. from the gym. Okay. Okay. Got my notepad, and I've got it ready. But ladies and gentlemen of True Story Thursdays, and everyone in between, please welcome to the podcast the lovely, the beautiful Rianne. Rianne, hey. how are you tonight? Um, I'm doing okay. Right, right. You're doing okay. So, Rianne, I, like, I got to start this off. So, we started this journey, what, like, when we started True Story Thursdays, like, on the very first episode, and we're trying to find a girl, a girl. like, he, he's, like, believe it or not, he's actually, like, not very good with women. And uh, we, we, we're trying to give him some big brotherly advice. You may have seen it on the podcast. I'm, I'm not sure. Were you a fan of the podcast? How did you find this? We Was this something that you started watching and going, man, like, how? Um, I honestly am a fan of the podcast. I have watched it before, before all of the producer of Once a Wife thing started. So I have been following along for a little bit. Um, and I just, when it started up, I thought, hey, this guy's kind of cute. I might give him a shot. See if anything might happen. Wow. So, so you 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 found Akel online, right? And you and you sent him a message, yeah. and 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 you guys started talking. Yeah, I will say it was a little bit weird when I saw like the photos online. He got that haircut in like December for the boxing. Oof. It was a bit rough. Mm. Yeah. That, yeah. Definitely hey, prefer this. Bad My walks are sick, yeah. boys. Yeah. Let, no. let, 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 let's not go there. So. <clears throat> you, you you two had a, had like two nights of dates last week, a Tuesday and a Wednesday night. And Akel, he kind of told us that uh, he asked what your body count was. Is that correct? Like you, you actually told me because you were like fucking like, what the fuck? Like you were like, really? Yeah. So that was the end of the second night, the Wednesday, the Valentine's Day. So... Uh-huh. We did a little bit of a thing the day before, which was very sweet, where on the Tuesday night we met up, we just hung out for a bit. He got me some flowers, which was very sweet, um, but he did throw them at me. He threw them at he you? He didn't, yeah. Look, I wouldn't say it was a throw. It was more like, oh, I'm so happy you're on this date with me. Here. And you kind of like chess caught it you know like it wasn't a bad cat like it wasn't a bad throw oh you launched flowers at a lady come on man like all right that, that's all right. A, a, bouquet, a bouquet of roses which was very so sweet, very nice but he threw them at me and i didn't have any choice but to catch them or else they would have hit the floor i mean why and do i think you're it, surprised caught it... with the thorns as well like oh, roses what, are a very what? dangerous <laughs> plant mate <laughs> hey Sarge, what, why do I feel that there's someone's grave missing a bouquet of flowers? <laughs> oh Look, some things wouldn't surprise me, and but I, I don't see a kill as a, like as a grave robber as such. <laughs> I definitely think he's the sort of guy that hangs around cemeteries at night. Thank but God. like, I mean, he looks like, at, he, like fresh he, graves he, and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Look, boys, sometimes when you're desperate, you're desperate. Like, if I, okay, for example, sometimes girls are like, Wait, you were desperate. What do you mean, bro? You asked her what her fucking body count was. Sometimes. So, Ree, have you ever had a, 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 a male suitor inquire about such a thing? No. To be honest, okay, no. Because most men aren't assholes, FYI. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So, like, even after all this, you still want to be a contestant in this. You still want to, you like, you want to. You said, like, basically, you want to put this on record. You want to be a contestant. So, so you see, like, some value in this fucking like cosplaying dork. Um. Yeah, I do. Look, there were a couple of other moments on like the Wednesday night that were a bit rough, but like. He's kind of cute. In a sort of special in a five, way. In a five foot eight way, yeah. Kind of 
Um, yeah, I mean, you know, he, I well, mean, he's look, you know, he, 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 he gives that special ed kid kind of vibe. You know what I mean? I get it. Like, that's kind of cute in a way. Um, True right, story so, is ableist. Okay, so you, you're still somewhat keen on him. Now, <clears throat> like, so can I just uh, oh, can, 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 can I, before you go? Oh, let me, course, I, I just want to ask, I'm sorry, sorry, Dr. Hughes. Um, I, I just want to, I just want to ask one question. And and please, this might be a little bit remiss of me being so forward, but on the Wednesday night, was he in with a sh- was he in with a shot? If you know what I mean, was he was he was he was he gonna was he gonna take it to the net? It's not rush love tears. No no no, I, I'm asking Rianne. I mean, he definitely was. Oh, you fucked yourself, Raquel. No pun intended. I apologize. Please continue. It, looked, it was already um, twice that day, so anyway. It so it was really nice. Like we went out to dinner. Mm. Okay. Um, it was sweet. Like we went out to dinner. It was being very nice for the beginning part of the whole day. Um, but then he said like he had a gift for me, and I thought, oh, this is very sweet. Very, very nice. And yeah. um, he started rapping like a Valentine's poem at me. Get the fuck out. Which is. <laughs> no. We were in the middle of a restaurant. And, and he was doing this whole like percussion on the table. Boys, it was a fire as fuck rap, all right? If there's a few things that I'm talented at in life, it's. Wrestling and rapping, and I can't always get my words out in poems. Do you know what I mean? Like in poems, oh. poems sometimes there's like not enough uh, character there. See if I'm like, like, if I like get on there in the beat and I'm like, "Girl, you're the love of my life." Uh, I'm also way taller than Axel Strife. Yeah. Ah. Uh, um, you know, like that kind of vibe. Bro, you have like, uh, like, like honestly, bro. <coughs> I know I, I can't even, I I can't even do it. But please, like, spit some spit some heavy bars down for us. Let, let's oh, see what you oh. spit what you spat to read. Uh huh. Oh, uh huh. Uh huh. I build bars like dreams and memories that are meant to last. We're just here chilling on the True Story podcast. True Story Thursdays. Yeah, you know we do it anyway, man. If you like us, chuck it, chuck it in the chat, cause we like the fans. Yeah. Now clap your hands. Throw up a super chat. Uh. Enough. En- uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Two dollars, please. Minimum. Did, were you impressed with any of that? I rap better right. than Eminem. All right, I'm gonna mute you, bro. Like seriously. <laughs> were you impressed with, with, with any of that? No. Yeah. And that's about the caliber that I got when we went out. Mm. Um yeah. so everything yeah, else that happened. Did he try? Did he try and kiss you on any on any of the times? Did he? Did he? Prior to rapping, yes, and I let him. Hey, I, I, I feel like he. I feel like he would. Date, he tried again. Really, and you were like, "Nah, not having it." No. You said no, you were trying. Yeah. So, so you. Especially so he after into, I had to pay the bill. What? Well, uh, oh, we didn't know this. Hold split on. bill, split Wait bill. A You're a liar right now. Are we, You're a liar. Are we to- hey, Kel, shut up. Are we, <laughs> are we talking Valentine's Day meal? He made you pay half or full? Half or full or whatever. Yeah. You had to open your wallet on, on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I had to open my wallet. It was like 75 25 my way. I'm done. I'm fucking done. <laughs> True story, greatest podcast in the world. We'll catch you next week. No, all, right, so, all right, like fuck me, bro. Like, what? I can't like, the prick anymore. Like, why do we fuck it? You I'm fucking so serious? Are you? Serious? How much? How much? How much was dinner? Ray? What? How much did um, you have to pay? I I had to pay a hundred and fifty. Jesus. All right. He paid 50. Yeah, give me shit, boys. Give me shit. Yes. Reel it in. It's called yes. a quality, motherfucker. I fucking paid the night before. 
Oh, yeah, right. But do you know, like, do you, do you know, it's like, tough, like, financially, it's been tough. So, so, Ray, you, you, you said like he kissed you. I'm assuming a kill tastes like fucking like Lynx deodorant and cheeseburgers. Was that what you what, what you enjoyed that night? Look, he didn't taste like cheeseburgers. More more yeah. fettuccine carbonara. Hey, there you go. Hey, there you Sloppy go. choice, so, but that's fine. Is that so, a good smell? So okay. basically, re like re what what this can like the the show is. We've had a few contestants come on. And we're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna have a few more come on. But I feel like in this instance, like you've already been on a date with Akil, two dates. So the next date that you guys go on, I feel like, like Sarge, we're gonna have to come along, and we're gonna have to film it. Um, of, you know, for research purposes, obviously. Hundred um, percent. You know, and, and also like maybe, maybe we might have to have an earpiece with. Nah, we can't. We can't. Nah. We can't do that. Can't. Maybe, maybe we'll just sit at a table near you and we can sort of like interject in the day and judge know. from the opposite side of the room. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. We could be the love gurus. I just, I wow. just, I don't know. I know this. you're looking for love. Like, I understand it, but you've been a dick. Just yeah, sit you, in your corner and shut up. Like, Sarge, should we, should, you know what, bro? I, I'm almost gonna say, like, Ray, I, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like PayPal you 150 bucks right now. Um, because that was that's got, that's kind of like fuck that you had to pay that and Akel, I'm taking that out of what we pay you um, for the podcast and yeah like you're like dude come on man do I better spend a hard thirty minutes on this a week that's that's scummy bro like oh, Valentine's Day at least you can do at least you can do carpool karaoke that's fun but like yeah bro it's it's Valentine's Day you put half effort in on that day at least. I feel like we should do a live stream the date. Let's lo- let's we're gonna we're gonna do it. Done. We're gonna find out. Um, we'll, we'll get the 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 relevant oh. equipment and stuff and people on board that we need to. Um, would you be interested? Would you allow that to happen, Ree? Yeah, more than fine with that happening. Worst right. comes to worst, you get a free dinner paid by Akil. Look. Shut up! No, no, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> we're gonna choose. We're, no, shut up! We're choosing the restaurant. Bring your wallet and bring your fucking loan, fucking application shit, and make sure you cashed up because this is going to be an expensive experiment for you and a life lesson, bro. And a life lesson. I will say one thing and let me finish this off. Re, I would like to take you on our own date on my volition. You know what I mean, and pay for it. Because I would do that, not for the podcast, not because these guys are doing it. These guys are kind of trying to jack the clout here. At the end of the day, you're a beautiful girl, and I want to take you on another date if you'll let me. Wow, that sounded sweet and genuine. That's really? Yeah, wow. Very sweet. Um, I'd love to. Okay. Hey, that sounds well, lovely. Yeah, but we're gonna film it anyway because she's already said it. <laughs> and um, yeah, like this this is just the way that the, the yeah we're content creators, so we have to film everything. Otherwise, it didn't happen. And, um, and exactly. Let's be honest, we wouldn't have had to do this in the first place if you paid for dinner on Valentine's Day. So, or assault your potential girlfriend on the first date mm. with a rat. So I, I, I guess I'm just I, I, and I don't throwing know, like, something at her. Oh, the thorns, yeah. The one's dickhead. <laughs> Absolute dick. I mean, I was going to ask them one last question. So, what is the body count? But like, I just feel like at this point, it'd just be rude. Um, and, and if American <laughs> Pie Two has taught us, look, American Pie Two has taught us. She, the she rule just of asked if, you want, if we want an answer. Like, do, do we want an answer here? How do you get away with this? And I don't. I, I just don't get it. Because you're a piece of shit, I kill. Because I'm a married man and she knows that I'm not trying to hook up with her. So I'm just, sure. If you want to give <laughs> that if you want to give that information away, Ree, you go right ahead. Seven. Wow. That's seven more than Akil. <laughs> I, hate, I, hate. I hate you. I hate you. I'm done. You do. Well, Ree, look, it was lovely meeting you. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. And I really look forward to us having you back on again and uh, live streaming this date. So th- thank you very much for your time. You're, you're a lovely young lady. And I'm kind of wondering now and a little bit perplexed if you are a little bit intellectually disabled because just wanting to 
do something with Akel here. <laughs> but um, no, I'm, 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 I joke. You're amazing. No, no, no. Hey, boy. Hey, it is what it is. But uh, Ree, anything else you want to leave Akel with here before you leave the show tonight? Um, maybe make sure that you have money with you for the next day. Oh, that's all. It's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Bring your wallet, bro. Bring your wallet and bring your cash. Come on. You ask a lady out, you're the one paying, bro. That's just I will it. open my wallet like the fat cat bird man Phil Picasso says to do. I promise you. And if there's well, issue, if you've got issues, you call Uncle Sarge beforehand and we help you out. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. But Ree, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, it's been lovely talking to you and I, and I look forward to uh, seeing you on this date with Akil. Mm. Take care, Ree. Awesome. And that has been. I'm just looking for love, you know. Bro, like I, I, when she was going to come on this podcast, bro, I'm going to be real. I was like going to be like, man, I'm going to go all fucking like fresh and fit and stuff like that. And then it was like, man, she's so, dude, she's so she's sweet. She's a sweet person. She such is. such a sweet person. Yeah, man, boy, seriously, I feel like I've she's... locked something great down here almost. And and if you guys see the rap I've got planned for the next No. Episode, no. You have no idea. No, it's like. Fucking fire, dude. No, no rap. Sometimes, no, he, sometimes no. miss. Who do you think you are? Some kind of trigger kid? Sometimes um, hit, sometimes miss. Always end a date, get a kiss. Yeah. Except with that date, bro. Oh, Damn. Yeah. I I think, yeah, we, we're, we're definitely going to help you along the way here, man. And, uh, uh, and see what hey, we can do. I like this one. Can you kind of make sure you're good to her? And we'd like to see her more, more of her. She's a good one. Well, she's going into the tournament brackets. We've got a few tournament brackets. We've got a few contestants to get through. 